We're back live in New York with our exclusive interview with former Vanderpump Rules star Stassi Schroeder. Stassi was fired from one of the most popular reality shows on TV over alleged racist actions against her co-stars. People have been glued to shows like Vanderpump Rules, like millions of people watch. And she, of course, was a relevant part of pop culture, impacting the way a lot of people see each other, actually. Um, I do want to bring you back in, Stasi. You're live from uh, L.A. here. And, and, and clearly, being live, I'm sure some of your team members have looked at social media to see how this is playing. My team has looked at it. There are people who don't buy what you're saying. And, and I, I don't gauge it by that. I gauge it by the answer. I know you've hired a diversity person to work with you to kind of understand. I'm not convinced you fully understand how much of an impact you could have had on Faith's life, the ramifications of all of this on her life as a human being, I do. as a black woman. I do absolutely understand. I've, I've spent the last three months, yes, working with a teacher and and learning about everything and there was so much that I didn't know like I, I I didn't understand that just because something wasn't about race for me doesn't mean it's not about race for the other person because I'm bringing my experience as a white privileged woman to this situation and she's bringing her experience yeah. as a black woman yeah. into this situation and because it's about race for her it it is about race, and and that's right. something that that I've realized. You grew Just, up in New Orleans, a pretty diverse city. Um, you lived a large part of your adult life in L.A., a city that people would describe as somewhat woke on some days. I don't understand a person your age not seeing and knowing. Um, let me zero in on it. The Nazi chic photo. We're not able to show that photo because there's a discrepancy over who owns it. It was deleted from social media. Was that posted on your social? Did you take the picture? Is it your picture? Do you own that photo? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so it's your photo, but we, through your team, were unable to show it because I think, honestly, you don't want to see it again because it is so hurtful. But it says in the caption, because I've seen it, Nazi chic. What is chic about Nazi? Nothing at all, and it was. I'm. I'm so embarrassed. I've been embarrassed about that for three years. It was a a a poor joke amongst me and my friends, and it was so wrong. And again, I have I have spent my life as a privileged person, and it is it is my fault. I have to say this that mm -hmm. I had not educated myself before. It's absolutely my fault that I didn't know better, but. The issue is I did not know better. So you I didn't never... know that Nazi, like to post something, you know, th that seemed to mock or, you know, the fact that you know, millions of Jews were killed in the Holocaust and suddenly an outfit is a Nazi. You didn't know that? You grew up in a big city. You, you live in L.A. I'm surprised um, that you wouldn't know that. Well, I, I didn't. Mm. And... I, or it's it's not that I didn't obviously, you know, I, I know all of all of the history, but it it's I, I was so used to making jokes at at other people's expenses and and have had never, you made race jokes before, like that? I, I'm not sure, like Nazi chic, <laughs> but but about black people, about Latinos, have you ever made any other racial jokes with your friends that you recall? I don't. I mean, the Nazi no, the Nazi chic was a was a joke because I it was a it was a it, I looked mm -hmm. like that in the outfit that I yeah. was wearing and it that was yeah. about me. Something that struck me since the faith uh, incident and it involved a black woman were you know the comments that you made on your podcast about Oscar so white um, a hashtag that people were using to call out the lack of diversity um, during the Oscars nomination and you said in part and I just want to read it here you said. Uh, I'm like really sick of everyone making everything about race. I'm kind of over it. You added, everyone giving their impassioned speeches about race and all of that stuff. I'm like, why is it always just about African Americans? Wow. 
Yes, wow, wow is right, and <sighs> I, I have to say, I've I've been wanting to talk about this podcast more because going through these past few months and working with a teacher and learning about Black history and just the obstacles that that Black people face every single day, I look back on that podcast and I under, I am so. I am so embarrassed that I even had those thoughts, much less put it out there because I and was so that strongly. I was that Karen. I was I was a Karen. I was yeah. a Karen who basically said, but what about all lives matter? Right. Because and, I, and I now, guess I'm again going back to your history here, being right. in a at a big city like New Orleans in LA, I am shocked and don't take this as an insult by your level of ignorance as it relates to race and you know, what it means to say Nazi chic to Jewish people and, and what it meant to Faith in her life. I, I do a show, and it's my second season, I have to be honest, you know how many times someone has said, why is Tamron Hall's virtual audience almost all black when it's diverse people who are in our virtual audience? Our audience is diverse. I've had to hear these people who question it. If my show is too black, when very few people question if another show is too white, and you don't understand being in Hollywood and auditioning, why diversity on both ends of the spectrum matter. I'm, I I'm under, truly I, perplexed Tamarin, by that. I do, but I, I do understand yeah. now. Yeah, you understand And now. I, I, I truly, I truly do. And I'm, I have been so, I've been wanting to talk about yeah. this podcast because I would, I would never, I now know how to speak for Black Lives Matter as opposed to How do you know that? I, well, matter. I think that's an overreach. I don't know if you know how to speak to it, but I think you can no, empathize. No, not speak to it. Okay. Speak, no, speak for it to, to be able to defend it when people, when how people do are you questioning it? it. Okay, so now you're in your circle of friends who once were capable of making some off-color jokes, no pun intended, and they say to you, Stasi, why do Black Lives Matter? What is because your answer? Bla because Black people are dying because they've been oppressed for 400 years. It, it, all lives matter can't, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. And that's something that I've, I've realized in doing classes. Stassi, it's interesting last night, um, the New York Housewives franchise was uh, trending because they may add their first black cast member, uh, the Beverly Hills, uh, version of that show uh, added Garcelle Bouvet, a black woman, for the first time in that um, show's successful run. Do you think these decisions to add diversity to those two popular shows on the network you were on is because of what you're going through? Um, I, I don't know that it's necessarily because of what I'm going through. I think it's just time, honestly. Did you realize the lack of diversity on Vanderpump Rules and the other shows there, and in reality TV in general, in some of these shows, I should say, not all, clearly? We've, we've definitely noticed it on our show. That's something that's been made aware to us. Um, I can't help who works at, at the restaurant, though. No, I understand. No, you can't be responsible for it. I was just curious, because now you have this change uh, in these two shows. Is the curve correction or the addition of these different types of voices and people, you think, because of what happened? When you learned that you were fired, did they give you a chance to explain yourself? How, how did you learn that you were fired? No, um, I, I got a call from my producer and my lawyer that morning. Um, I, I understand why I didn't have a, a chance to explain myself. I've, I've messed up a lot. Now, there was a former co-star, Jax Taylor. Uh, he's still on the show, despite coming under fire for comments that he's made on social media. He also falsely accused Faith Stowers of that crime. Should he be fired? I don't want to see any of my friends fired, honestly. I, and, I'm, I, and I don't want to speak to that. Going back to what I know you want to speak to is this apology that you're offering up to people. Um, as you know, people have said to me, why are you giving her your platform? And I think that we can all learn something. If a woman, a young woman your age, is able to admit you know nothing, even though you lived in diverse cities, about um, the black experience, and you can be so reckless as to say, you know, why do black people make it all about them or the Nazi chic? If you can curve correct, perhaps others can and learn that this is really a battle that we're all in together in so many ways about humanity.
But I know you are used to red carpets. I know the checks have stopped coming in in some ways, the podcasts, the books. You lost your agent. How much of this is about the fact that you need an income? You need to work and you might not be able to work, whether it's reality TV or not, you may not be able to get those meetings to sell the next podcast, to sell the next book if this is hovering over your head. I just, I, I want to be a better person. I'm pregnant and I want my daughter to be proud of me. And I, I want to be a part of the solution. I've been a part of the problem for years now. Mm. And I, I've recognized that. And that's why I say I don't feel like I'm a victim of cancel culture. People want me to be mad at it and I'm not. I needed mm. it. I needed that. Yeah.